and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a project layout share um, to show you guys the layouts and everything that I've gotten done for the month of July. Um, the stack isn't that big, but I do have some Traveler's Notebook spreads that I want to share. So I'm going to share those first. Let's see. So for Cheeky Studio, um, I did this one. And I used the Sweet Succulents um, ephemera pack. So, super fun. There is a process video for this. So, it's um, on my channel. Next, I did another Traveler's Notebook layout for the Precious Remembrance Shop. I was a guest designer for the month of July. And this was the first project that I did for them. There is a process video for that one as well. And then this was the very last project that I did for the Precious Remembrance Shop. Um, it was eight and a half by 11 layout and I had a lot of fun with this one. I did a lot of stamping um, and yeah, super fun, super cute, super bright. All of the supers. <laughs> um, there is a process video on this one as well. Next, this one I think was one of my favorites this month. It's a pretty simple um, layout. I didn't do too much to it, but I really love the layered layers, I guess, um, or the way that I did the layers on here and um, kind of roughed up the edges. And I really, really love this stamped image that I colored. Um, and that's from the Picket Fence Studios. I got that from the um, Expo, along with the papers and the stickers I got from the Expo as well. There is a process video for this as well. Whoa! You guys were not supposed to see that. So you guys just got a sneak peek <laughs> of a video that's going to be released in August. I probably should look through these and pull out those um, layouts. Yeah, I didn't do that. Honestly, didn't even think about it. I totally forgot. So there are, <laughs> sorry you guys, there are three layouts that I made for Ink Road um, because we do the previous month um, <laughs> for, the fall, for the next month. So there's three layouts that I did do for Ink Road. You just saw one of them. Sorry. Um, so be on the watch out for those coming for this month in August. Um, this one is another cheeky studio um, layout. And I did a lot of mixed media on this one. And I used the cream, pink and cream bouquets. Um, I love, 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 love that collection and it's a photo of my grandparents and I had a lot of fun with this one. <clears throat> there is a process video on that one as well. This next one was for a click kits and I used the sketch for the month of July. Um, and I love the way that this one came together. It's not my normal, um, kind of the bottom part, the layers, the triangle layers is not something that I would, like be drawn to but the sketch was great and it kind of um got me out of my comfort zone a little bit so i really really enjoyed that one next this one was from make paper art and i used the maker's gonna make cut file and i used the doodle bug hello collection i believe is what it was um and there's a string hanging off of this one right here driving me crazy. There we go. Um, so I had a lot of fun with this one. This one is so me. It's so bright, so colorful, and I loved the cut files. The little hot glue gun and the paintbrush. Super, super cute. Um, so yeah, I was super excited about this one. Love it. Next is another one for Click Kits and using the July kit again which I absolutely loved. It was nice and summery. Um, and yeah, I did some distress ink here and some tearing of the paper um, or distressing, I guess. <laughs> um, and I will say this, I 
did a boo-boo. I used the craft foam underneath the photo and I used wet glue and it made my photo wrinkly behind it and the paper behind it wrinkly. We'll not be doing that again. Um, so yeah, lesson learned and I just wanted to tell you guys that so you guys don't make that mistake because it's wrinkly and it's really bothering me. So I don't know. I'm going to leave it, but hopefully it's all good. So there's that layout. Next, oh man, I love this one. I thought I did this one in June, but I guess I didn't. I did it in July. So, again, I believe that there's process videos for every single one of these. Um, this one was super fun, um, and I used the Simple Stories Crafty Girl Collection, I believe is what it's called. Um, and there is a process video for this one as well, and... Um, in each process video in the description, there is products linked um, or the store linked to where you can get your hands on the products that I used in the layout. So this one was a picture of the my very first scrapbook retreat and all the lovely ladies that came to it. They're, oh my gosh, this group of ladies was amazing. So um, I was super lucky to have my first retreat with such amazing ladies. So yeah. Um, this was fun to create. This one was another layout for um, the Precious Remembrance Shop. And this handsome guy right here is my favorite person. Um, and yeah, I used some stamps or some of their stamps and their um, like ephemera die cut stuff. Um, and it's a masculine layout, not too much done to it. It's kind of simple. But I really, really love the way that that one came together. This one's a favorite, too. I believe that this was at the very first of the month. Yeah, these next ones are at the very first of the month. Um, this is a picture of Miranda and I at the retreat. And this was kind of when we met. Um, <laughs> and now she's like a best friend to me. Um, and we talk daily and... We went to the expo together and got a hotel room together, and it's kind of crazy, um, you know, when you meet somebody you've been talking to for so long online, and then you kind of hit it off. She's a really great person, and this layout was super fun, um, and I used the Pebbles Jen Hatfield Collection Patio Party, I believe, um, and this is one of my favorite collections uh, from this year so far. It's super bright and fun. And it's also got that nice navy blue in it to kind of ground it. And it's got that really, really pretty bright yellow. Um, had fun. Had a lot of fun making this layout. So process video on that one as well. And then this one was for Cheeky Studio. And so every month we do um, this new term. Every month uh, Miranda and I have a challenge in the Facebook group. And the first month, which was... July we had ribbon and trim and so here's the ribbon in my trim it's super frilly um, and so yeah definitely head over to that Facebook group to get in on the challenge um, and super fun the very last layout was for click kits and it was mixed media and man this was my first layout with this kit and I had a lot of fun I love the yellow and the blue together um, when I first created this layout, these were the two papers that were like, yes, they go so great together. They were my favorite. The yellow was nice and bright. The navy blue kind of like grounded it a little bit. Um, but I just absolutely love the way that this layout came together. And I had a lot of fun creating it as well. So let's do the count because, you know, we got to count. We've got three over here that I can't show you. So three, four, five. Ouch. <laughs> Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then fifteen, sixteen with a traveler's notebook. So sixteen layouts this month, which really isn't a whole lot for me. Um, 
last month we took a break from Ink Road because it's the new design team. And so they were waiting to get the new release out and get the packages out and everything for the new members that were joining. Um, so we didn't have any projects due. I did three, um, but I didn't have any due um, for July. So there wasn't as many videos this month. But let me tell you guys, <laughs> August is full. I have a ton of videos for August. Um, you guys have, oh my gosh, there's going to be a lot of videos to watch. And then in September, there's a special something come in to my channel in September. So be ready for a ton of videos. And I hope that you guys are excited. Summer is almost over. And I'm kind of sad because I really enjoyed my summer with um, my daughter being home. Um, but... Uh, it's going to be good to get back on a routine and a schedule of some sort um, because right now we're kind of just willy-nilly in it. <laughs> we kind of just, uh, you know, wake up when we want to and kind of do what we want when we want kind of thing. And um, I'm ready for that routine and schedule to be back in my life because it helps me with my YouTube channel. So I hope that you guys are excited for the upcoming months and videos coming to my channel. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. And don't forget to spread love and be kind. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.